You may have seen the new Kill Team set that was released uh, a few months ago uh, with the Imperial Navy Breachers in it. Um, I really like the way that those those figures look. I have not been able to get the set. Um, didn't have the, the finances for that, but I was able to pick up one figure. So I'm going to build and paint this one. Well, I've already built it, but I'm going to paint this one and uh, uh, see how it turns out. Just to do something a little different, uh, I'm going to be doing the contrast method for most of this base painting, uh, kind of taking a cue from uh, not only what I've seen uh, creators such as Juan Hidalgo do, uh, but also looking at the video that Games Workshop put out about how uh, they painted this uh, peachy. Uh, I guess it was one of the last videos he did before heading off on his own. Um, uh, he painted uh, the figure in in uh, contrast paints, and I just really like the way that looked. So I'm going to go through and give that a try and just see how it turns out. Now I primed the model in black and then gave it a zenithal, a uh, heavy zenithal spray of uh, Vallejo Sky Gray, and uh, just left just a few places in shadow. Uh, I really uh, covered it pretty heavy. I went all around. You can see on the feet and the legs, there's still some shadowing in those places. But then what I'm going to do is, uh, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush it with some white to help bring out uh, some of the details. For the dry brushing, I'm going to use Vallejo's Cold White. It's a very good color for this, very thick, heavy color. So it works well for dry brushing. I'm just going to hit all the raised edges, the folds in the cloth, things like that. It's just going to help that contrast paint work even better to bring out the highlights. To start the base painting, I'm going to paint all of the fabric areas with a Citadel contrast paint called Storm Fiend. There's quite a few black details around the model. Um, the gloves, parts of the helmet, parts of the boots, the gun casing. Um, on the back, there's parts of the pack. For those areas, I'm going to use another contrast paint. This one is Citadel's Black Templar. The artwork from Games Workshop shows this area of the helmet being black. And it also shows this area being white and actually this area being blue. But I'm going to be a little different and uh, maybe suggest some kind of rank designation or other difference in this particular figure. And I'm going to paint, first of all, the front of the helmet here. I'm going to very carefully paint that in bale red uh, contrast paint. And I'm going to have to complete this off camera so I can actually see what I'm doing. And I'm also going to paint this inner stripe very carefully off camera um, around the coat right there. There's a few places around the helmet that when I paint the other colors there, I'll need to neaten up a bit, but I anticipated that. That's why I did the red first. And um, if I need to do any neatening, I made sure that my brush strokes would err on the side of getting it on the white area because I'll be going over that later anyway. So uh, I like the way that, that turned out, that stripe all around. Oop, there's a place I missed. Better go back and get that. Now for these wrappings around the handle of the sword, and for the various little pipes on the ankles and the elbows, I'm going to paint these with Volupus Pink. Now there's quite a few metal details all around the model, so if you're not sure what to paint, take a look at the box art. Uh, go online, take a look at the Games Workshop website for these particular figures, and it'll give you some ideas. Ultimately, though, um, you paint what you think it ought to be. I'm going to go with a look that's very similar to the models that I see on the website. And I want to base all of the metallics in lead belcher. Now using gray sear, I'm going to go back and all of these details that should be white. I'm going to overcoat them one more time. In any areas where I've gotten other colors over onto the white, that'll just cover it up like on that eagle right there. I'll cover that up. 
This is also the point as I go through that if I see any areas that I missed or any mistakes, I just kind of go back and forth between the colors to correct all of them. So here you can see how it looks with all the base colors painted in. Now I'm going to start shading all the metallics with Targor Rage Shade, which is uh, one of the newer Citadel shades. And I, I really like this. It's It's got kind of a burgundy feel to it. If you're familiar with Tamiya paints, this very much reminds me of Tamiya Smoke. So I really like this. Now I'm going to use some Iron Breaker to just start brightening those areas up, avoiding the recesses. Instead of just painting it a solid color, I'm going to go in and just kind of stipple the color on to give it a bit of a scratchy used look. Now I'll use Stormhost Silver. And what I'm going to do is just go right along these edges here Get the edges and the bolt detail, anything like that, just to really make those, those areas pop. To start the highlights on the blue fabric, I'm going to use some Alaotic blue, Alaotic blue, Alaotic blue. It's whatever the one just was on the screen that I just showed. Now I use Fenrisian Gray just to get the most prominent edges on the, the highlights. Now to just brighten up a few areas of the red, I'm going to use some Evil Sun Scarlet. I'll brighten up the white areas with some Ulthuan Gray. Now I'll put in a few bright points of white scar, not only on the white trim on his uniform but also on the eagle's wings and the various decorations around the around the the model i'll start the highlights on the black area with mechanica standard gray there's quite a bit of highlighting to do on the black areas actually there's these joints here that have to be highlighted and the gloves and parts of the boots and parts of the pack, so just look all around the model to see what needs to be highlighted. Now if you know your Citadel colors, you probably know what's coming next. I'm going to do some very fine highlights of Administratum Gray on these black areas. For the visor, I'm going to use Ammo of Mig Metallic Orange. Now, I'd actually filmed painting the head earlier, but I just wasn't happy with how it turned out, so I painted back over it. I'm going to take a slightly different approach than I did earlier, which was just putting some Gillum and Flesh over the, the uh, dry brush that I had originally started with. I didn't like that, so I'll start off, and I'm just going to paint the whole thing with Bugman's Glow. Now I'm going to do a dry brush with Kislev Flesh. Now I'll paint the flesh areas with Gilliman Flesh. I'll paint in the hair with Sigor Brown. Now for just a few touches of Kislev Flesh. Well, off camera I tried to paint in his eyes. We'll just say he saw something that startled him. <laughs> also painted in some highlights in his hair with Gorthor Brown. I'm okay with it, I guess. He kind of reminds me of a, <laughs> a guy that I knew a long time ago. <laughs> well, I keep telling uh, everyone who supports me on Patreon that I'm not planning on becoming a mini painter. And I keep painting minis. <laughs> so... Um, I do like painting them, but I, I will admit, I know I'm not very good at it, but I have fun with it and I'm learning. So that's, that's the main thing. And that's, that's what I hope that 
you know, you'll take away from this is that, um, you know, you don't learn to do something without trying it, without doing it. And, uh, that's what I keep doing. Uh, I'll continue painting Warhammer vehicles and things like that. I've got several in the works right now, but I was just really intrigued by these, uh, Imperial Navy breachers that I've seen all over. And, uh, I thought, well, I'll just paint one myself. I actually ordered this single one off of eBay. Uh, couldn't afford the whole set, so I just got this one. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it, even with the startled look on his face. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know those those memes that people have about how eyes look? Yeah, this is, this is one of those. So, anyway, but the rest of it I like. Um, I like that red that I put on there. That, that gave it a nice... I think that gave it a, a nice, different look. I didn't depart too far from Canon when it comes to uh, the rest of the paint, but I think that red just kind of makes it stand out a little bit. It's uh, kind of kind of cool, I think. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for, uh, especially if you're watching at this point, I am grateful. And, of course, thank you to all of those who support me on Patreon. Uh, it was thanks to you that I was able to get this this model and build this. So uh, your support is a blessing to me, and it's a blessing to my family. So we are grateful, and uh, thank you very much. And with all that being said, I'll leave you with one startled look on my face and <laughs> one thought, as I always like to do in this hobby. If you're not having fun, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Happy day to you, friends. Bye-bye.